The world is full of potential idols to compare our physiques against. From celebrities to sports stars, there's no shortage of bodies to strive for. But can we really trust them? No. That's what I thought. So today I'm turning to the example set by the most righteous and muscular men in our society, anime heroes. Let's see what it's like to go Super Saiyan. Before we start working out, we must eat. Anime characters eat a lot. Don't believe me? Well, Goku as a kid used to eat 57 meals in one sitting, which oddly increased over time. His calorie intake is larger than any animal on planet Earth. Luffy, that guy eats in his sleep. And don't even get me started about Tariko. He eats 3 million calories a day, over 1,000 times the recommended daily portion for an average adult. If you ask me, Will, what is your favorite type of men? I would say raw men, which is also anime's number one most iconic food. So let's go get some ramen. No idea what I got. All I know is it's spicy and it's ramen. I love my noodle hand pulled. I'm also not ashamed to admit, I'm willing to pay a little extra for it too. I'm gonna eat it exactly like they do in the show. Pick it up and practically swallow it and burn my esophagus in the process, okay? Oh my God, that is so good. Holy sh**. It's like a festival of flavors. Like you could drown me in that and I'd die a happy man. I've not been faced with this many salty wet noodles since I dived into the, the locker room after the Raptors game. This broth is so soothing on a sore throat, it's ridiculous. I think I was an anime character in my past life. You wanna know why? It's because they don't eat because I need to. They eat for activity. And they have no table manners because table manners are for people that aren't hungry. I gotta stop. <laughs> I found an egg in there. It gets better the deeper you go. Like a lot of things, look. Physique standards in anime are pretty much, you have to be Olympia stage ready or you are used as comedic relief. Every single one of those guys could give Chris Bumstead a run for his money. It makes the fitness industry in real life look like a middle school dance. I think it turns out that back he was using trend like it's creatine because at age 16, apparently he was benching 320 pounds. When I was 16, the only loads I handled were more focused on working my wrist. We're gonna do 320 pounds. I feel like bullying a 16 year old today, so many reps I can get. You think a 320 pound bench press at 16 is impressive? Well, Goku could apparently bench press a planet. With the unrealistic strength and physique standards, there's no wonder why kids grow up believing in all the fake natties. If gingers were this jacked in real life, there's no way we'd be making the same jokes about them. And I'm sorry, Master Roshi, there's no chance you're natty. Look who my spotter is for the bench press. We got Ronaldo here. I told him I'm doing anime, and he's literally wearing a shirt. Is that anime? Close enough. How many reps do you think I got with 320? Eight. Eight? This guy's an asshole. Let's see. What? Four point one. So I'm like hundred percent worse than what you thought. Hey man, we all got goals. Let's go. Suck it, Baki. Next exercise we are doing is the Zoro squat overhead press. So the amount of mobility and flexibility you need for this is absolutely insane. I have none of it, so I have the plates here for my feet. I get nervous going down this deep. I feel like I just need a soothing voice to remind me to breathe here. Anime guys typically do like a thousand to two thousand reps a set, so they're true marathon men. Oh my god. There's no shot. I'm doing an exercise with just the bar. No shot. I'm no bitch. I'm watching Baki and Zoro do some arm curls right now, and for the muscular development that they have and the form that they're doing, I feel like Derek has a few emails coming his way, if you know what I mean. Baki's looks like a failed attempt at shadow boxing, and Zoro, you may as well call him Zero, because all I see is zero reps. Like, this is, this is so bad. Oh my god. I'm really starting to think that the animators have never been in the gym in their life to think this is appropriate to show kids. Really? I need the wires in my head. It doesn't feel the same. I never felt like such an alpha and such a bitch at the same time. Just shy of a thousand reps. Next exercise, we're doing this alternating chest punch cable thingy-majiggy. He has a big dumbbell in his mouth during the exercise. And with what's been going on around the world right now, I don't think that's a wise thing to do. I mean, I see a lot of things I'd walk in my mouth right now in the gym. Just the weights is not one of them. Next exercise we're doing is Zoro's squat. So we did them between mountains. I don't have mountains accessible to me in my gym. So we were using some boxes here. He was holding away from his mouth. So he seems to love to put things in his mouth. He seems to be pretty good at it. What are what else he could do when he's of legal age? I feel like this is a really big like standout movement if you're looking to get some numbers. But this is not one that you want to fail because this could easily turn into a very grueling, painful split. This 
feels like IRL Call of Duty teabag training. Your joints feel better? Right? And now, we'll end with something to keep things well-rounded. This is the kind of scene where I was half expecting tentacles to come into the picture, but they didn't. All I can say is, I doubt it was the viewer's hamstrings this scene inspired gains in. We're on the hunt right now for some onigiri, which is a very popular Japanese snack. It looks like kind of like a, it's like a Japanese pizza pocket. Onigiri is like the anime girl of your dreams. You can like fill it in so many different ways. Look at this, look at all these different options. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. We're gonna start off with the chicken teriyaki. I got this one because, guys, I'm still white, okay? I feel like this is on the menu for people like me to be able to participate. Bro, literally a Japanese pizza pocket, but it's actually like what it says it is, as opposed to like what we actually have here in Canada. This one is spicy beef. See, this one, this one's less good. It looks like the Japanese like small things, like small portions, small things in general. Guess I should pack my bags. Now here we have the, the kanbu, which is apparently from the sea. I don't want to offend anybody. It, it, ugh. it literally tastes like a beach cleanup in my mouth. After eating all the onigiri in sight, we moved from the one part of the anime world which I could most relate to, to someone who could bring their complex movements to life. Taylor, a veteran here at Monkey Vault, she's gonna flip circles around me as I'll look as graceful as a drunk elephant. If only I had such a large trunk. They knew I was coming. I feel like I look like I'm taking my son trick-or-treating after the divorce and doing anything I can to get him on my side. Yeah, That's I get how that I feel. vibe. First thing we're gonna do, we have four different levels of push-ups. The first level is just a regular knuckle push-up. Three, two, one, good. Level two, knuckle clapping push-up. Three, two, one. All that right. one's scary. Huh? Low key, that one's that scary. That one is scary. <laughs> Yeah, like you gotta really trust yourself then. I almost broke my nose there. Oh my <laughs> god. Level three is one arm push up. I've never done one of these before. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can you do a knuckle one arm? I think you just want me to break my nose. <laughs> and, oh, oh <clears throat> nice. Level four is handstand push up. Solid start. I'm so uncoordinated. Now can you do a knuckle? I've never tried that. Oh, no way. No way, my little nails. I'll spot you and you do it. Okay. Ready, three, two. Wow. Hey. That you were That's done. so nice. I thought you were totally done. Next exercise we are doing is one arm pull ups. There's no question which arm I'm using. I'm usually much better on a pull. Like, what the? I can't do it. Try, try this one. I'm getting frustrated. I can't do it. You go. Ready. Go. Oh. It's so hard. Yeah, it I'm is like... Come on, Taylor. There you go. Easy. All day. Ten. Two. Oh. Nice. We're about to do some difficult ones now. That was just the warm-up. I got something for you. Oh. Yeah. I'm scared. You can pick which one you want. So we have a, a Goku or, or a Zoro drink. I feel like you should match this, so I'll get yeah. this one. I wonder what, like, what would Zoro taste like? What does he look like? He just has green hair and he's jacked. Cheers. Oh, you didn't actually touch. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I was just gonna go with yeah, it. I was go. gonna go with it. Ow. Oh, I think I just destroyed my knee. Are you okay? Next exercise we are doing is upside down crunches. Okay. Goku took it pretty literally. He was like literally attached by a rope by both of his feet. Ankles? Like in like this stadium. Oh, yeah. okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. I might revisit my breakfast ramen. This might be where I break my neck. Like gracefully though, right? Oh my God. And slowly let go, very slowly. Nine, ten. That wasn't bad. 
bad, right? You didn't finish, you always finish with the pose. Like you always did it. The next one we're doing is the last airbender Azula bent arm planche, which Taylor thinks I can actually do. I think so, I have full belief. Why do you believe that? Because your one arms are really good. Okay. This is gonna be like a true telltale if you can do it. Okay. Is doing your pseudo push-ups. Think of like driving your like heels to the ceiling. Okay. So here. Clench your butt cheeks really tight. Forward, close. It no, close? it wasn't. He looks like he's like hiding morning wood in the video. I was like floating like that. So it's gonna be on your hips? Yeah. Same thing here, but the band will now hold you up. That seems to be a very compromised position for me. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna slingshot right back. No, you won't. I held it for like 25 seconds. It was very good. Very good. Can we just see you do it now? Yeah. Or the viewers wanna see us go over there? Let's go go over back there. over there? Yeah. Wait, how do you. I'm the lamest Goku. Oh. oh. I need these in like my bedroom. Yeah. All the time. I just like. I think that's the most athletic thing I've done here. Today. So far? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right, Taylor, let's see it. <laughs> We're doing the backy one arm hold. I have the fetal position down path like this. I think, I, just I, I think that's pretty much, that, that's as far as it goes for me. I like your elbow approach. Let's see your approach. You always start bottom down. Like. This is like, I'm gonna start from the. Yeah. Okay. Can you put it in front of me? That makes no sense. If you can't do it, we'll get the green screen. <laughs> Come on. Bad. I saw it for like a it millisecond. Was like, if you, if you slow great. down the frame, yeah. I did it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. We have to remember that anime people are not real. Now we're going to do the backy thumb stand. I eat too much today, that's probably why. Those onigiris are weighing me down, everybody. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Oh, you're right there. You didn't even look, he wasn't even okay, looking. Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> I fully did it, no? Yeah, you did it, go. I did. Come on, backy. Oh my god! Can you just pick a freestyle for a second? Sure. That was very good. Thank you. That was very good. Can you do another one? Yeah. More flipping. There wasn't enough flips. More flips. Oh, you want variation. Yeah. Don't you want a distance? I wanted to, like, you like a Zelda or something. I need a Zelda. Good. Start there, all the way here. Tell me when to stop. I oddly, like, don't trust him to tell me when to stop. <laughs> Watch my face. Okay, well, I want to learn how to flip now, so can you take me to the foam pit and show me how to do a back flip? Sure. Let's do that. That's gonna be scary for everyone involved. No. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. Now, to get out is the mission. So. You're doing great. This is harder than the back flip, I think. You're doing great. So, up, pull, and then fall. Can I break my neck in a foam pit? Do you want the honest answer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Two feet. Boom. I'm on the top Boom. of the bed. Yeah! Yeah! I did it, Ma! Oh my god. No, oh, are you trying to say I'm fat? <laughs> no, no. Oh, come on, Taylor. Pull them, for God's sakes. I am. Yeah. Honestly, that was pretty good. I, that, I feel like that's a move somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's in, it's in the Kama Sutra. Getting out of this is a bitch. A little spotty spot? Yeah. Not for me. We'll sub someone in. That's you, buddy. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Have you flipped before? Like. What? You flipped before, yeah? Like I flip burgers. I don't flip like myself. Like in a pool. In a pool. Uh, first time meeting this man. I trust him <laughs> fully. Okay? 100%. Yeah. All right, I got it. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought my neck was done there. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> he did not. I bailed. I bailed midway. <laughs> yeah. I know. And he was just like, get the. <laughs> off of <you."> <laughs> <laughs> I have to push you because you bailed. <laughs> you can't bail. <laughs> or else you would have landed on your keep neck. Pulling, keep pulling. This guy like Grand Theft Auto. Just like, the f you. Go try again. You gotta. Just, you gotta. No, this guy. You gotta like send it's me. Aggressive, <laughs> You would have died if I did it. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna stick to the anime food and I'm gonna ditch the anime workouts. I don't think I'm worthy of this belt. I'm gonna stick to the weight room. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.